For most people, printing starts here with Johann Gutenberg. We're in his shop in Mainz, Germany. In fact, here is Johann. You're looking a little stiff today, by the way. He's working with the mold for movable type. This is what he really invented. Everything else existed before him. The concept of the press, the word printing existed, the concept of printing existed. What he created was this way of creating movable type, of making letters movable so they could be edited and changed, therefore the ability to make corrections. In fact, proofreaders were called correctors of the press. The thing he invented also that transcended time was ink. The ink formulation that he created lasted for several hundred years before they changed it. So he brought it all together into a system. That's what Gutenberg really invented. He was called the man of the millennium. When they tried to find the one person over the last thousand years who had the most profound effect on civilization, it came down to one person, the person who invented the way that we communicate. That was Johann Gutenberg, and here we are with him today. Here we are along the banks of the Nile. They are taking the pith from a plant called papyrus. They are pounding it on rocks in order to create flat sheets. These are interwoven together to create scrolls. This became the magic material that was used for writing for many, many years. Egypt had a virtual monopoly on it. In other places, they used the hides of animals. Ultimately, it became paper. But papyrus was the first material that made writing possible and allowed information to be recorded and saved for many centuries. We're here in Fabriano in Italy, where one of the most important products that involved printing came into being, paper. Paper was not invented here. Paper was invented in the Orient, in China, and Korea. It found its way to the Middle East, where this great state secret was revealed to the Arabs, who then revealed it to the traders in the Mediterranean. It reaches Italy in the first company, the first organization to make papers here in Fabriano. This big vat has this liquid in it, by the way, with linen of all kinds that has been broken down. It is poured into a screen to form these sheets of paper. You can see it drying above me. By the way, the smell in here is not very good at all, as all this stuff is cooking. But it was this ingredient, it was this paper, that made printing possible. Well, here we are in ancient Rome, where they're creating the Trajan Column. You can see the chiselers above me, by the way. Someone would come and paint the letters. And as they did, they ended the, the letter with a small flourish, which today we call the serif. The chiselers would come in, and they would then chisel that into the stone itself. Now, by the way, you see the typo up there? Well, there isn't one. But if they had one, it was a very serious error, because you didn't get a second chance to go back and redo that. In any case, the Trajan Column, Roman lettering, created the principle of the serif. This was continued by Nicholas Jensen, who then made it into type that we could print. Mm -hmm. 